Hi guys and welcome back to the channel once again. I really hope you liked the Squally vs Squally video. I put a lot of effort into that so if you haven't checked it out please do. And today we're gonna do a little unboxing but I'm gonna give you a little quiz before we do it. What's better than unboxing a vintage inspired chronograph? The answer is unboxing three vintage inspired chronographs. I actually have two Swedish watches on the table and one American watch designed in New York and I'm really proud to show you these three watches because I've uh, really liked uh, I wanted to feature two of them for a long time and I finally got my hands on them. I actually bought all of these watches second hand so they're mine watches and I'm gonna give you a review of the three further on uh, so I tracked them down I bought them and I'm really happy to be able to show you them uh, at once in one big unboxing for all three and then I'm gonna make a separate video on all three as well so uh, let's not waste any time let's head on over to the table and show you three cool watches Okay guys, <clears throat> here we have them. Three beautiful vintage inspired chronographs and we're gonna take a look at them right now. I'm just gonna show you what I'm wearing today. The Omega Speedmaster. Beautiful, beautiful watch. Love every time I put this on the wrist. But we're not here to take a look at this one. We're here to take a look at this nice little spread of watches. And we're actually going to start with the Monchard. So we're starting off with Sweden, <clears throat> putting those guys out of the way. Monchard watches. Nice looking little cardboard box here. Nothing special. We have a nice little uh, anchor logo there with the M in the middle. And this is what it looks like when you open it up. We have an instructions manual. Monchard watch company. Nice little pieces and history about the brand. This is a thing that I always like about uh, watch brands, where they give you a little hi brief history about the company, even though it's a young company, started in 2015. Still a nice thing to have, a little uh, information about the chronograph, how to use the pulsometer, and yeah, a nice little booklet with the warranty, with the stamp, and whoever made that signature, controlled by some at some people at Monchard. And we have a nice little travel pouch here, looking vintage, looking rugged, uh, looking used like it's been traveling around the world. Let's put the box out of the way. One second. And let's see what we have inside this nice little travel pouch. This is the strap that the watch comes on, the leather strap. You can actually choose a bunch of different configurations and this configuration comes with both a leather strap and the I think it's a beads of rice bracelet we're gonna take a look at that in a minute nice little vintage looking leather here feels really smooth to the touch <coughs> Italian leather handmade and as you can see we have the tiny little Monchard logo there at the lock and uh, yeah feels good uh, probably feels good on the wrist as well. I'm going to show you that in the proper video uh, review of the watch. But until then, let's just put that right back in there. And actually I saw this little compartment and I actually saw it today. It's hiding a little pin changing tool, strap changing tool right there. A nice little touch in this little secret compartment. And then we have a compartment on the left. Here we have a cleaning cloth, some extra spare links, put them away right back in there. And then we have another compartment on the right side. I guess you can put whatever you want in there. And here we have the Monchard chronograph. Uh, I'm just going to put this away and then we can take a proper look at this beautiful beautiful little watch uh, as you can see it's a chronograph nothing is moving until you press the 
upper right pusher there you start the chronograph it's taking away and since uh, this is a uh, actually a hybrid movement a mechanical quartz movement as you can see we have a beautiful sweep on that quartz ticking second hand Monchard Sweden just beneath the 12 o'clock we have the Monchard logo and then we have some text there daytime indicator pulsation chronograph looking really good and a pulsation chronograph I'm not really uh, well worst versed in these things but I think a pulsation chronograph is used in medicine so you can I guess you can uh, calculate the heart rate or something um, as you can see grade 4 15 pulsations yeah beautiful little piece you can see the sapphire glass staring back at you there uh, polished on the sides nicely done with the polishing polished all over actually you can see all the reflections you can see the Monchard logo on that crown there the two pushers easy access to remove the uh, bracelet or strap because we have drilled lugs and uh, this is the bracelet it's all polished really nice on the touch really nice on the wrist slender and actually really easy to use uh, the clasp with the Monchard logo right there brushed nicely brushed looking good it's a pressed clasp but I guess that's okay for the money or is it <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna talk about that now because this is not a proper review we have a lot of micro adjustments there one two three four five six seven eight micro adjustments the case back Monchard watch company pulsations chronograph sapphire glass water resistance five bars no five ATM and the reference number right there so it's a good looking watch and we're gonna go through some specifics right now because even though this is an unboxing I'm gonna give you the specifics uh, because I'm a nice guy we have the Monchard chronograph reverse panda here it's a 316 L stainless steel watch the movement inside of it is a Seiko v VK 64 mecha quartz diameter is 39 millimeters we have a thickness of 13 millimeters we have a lug width of 20 millimeters and we have a lug to lug of 46 millimeters it's a double domed box shaped sapphire crystal with AR coating and as you can see the air coating is actually uh, really good uh, I think at least it doesn't give you the blue blue shine that much but uh, it's perfectly legible in all angles uh, it's a pulsations chronograph like I told you used in medicine and we have a water resistance of 50 meters the price for this piece in this configuration with both the bracelet and the leather strap comes around 4,000 Swedish crowns and that's approximately 430 US dollars Swedish watch Swedish made watch not Swedish made it's a Swedish brand uh, uh, and it's a beautiful little watch let's put it on the wrist there we have it 20 centimeter wrist this is what it looks like a nice little vintage inspired piece I'm liking the ver reverse panda look they just released a new look I for I'm forgetting what it's called right now but it looks beautiful yeah I think it's called the tuxedo it is a, another great look for this watch but it's a beautiful watch don't you think it feels really good on wrist it's slim it's slender that bracelet is really really treating my wrist well it's smooth all the way around and the uh, the the hollow clasp makes it really wearable if you want to find anything good about the pressed clasp it's that it uh, keeps the weight down and it feels like a pleasure to wear that's the Monchard pulsations chronograph reverse panda beautiful little piece I'm really liking the design and a little we have some really small splashes of color with the blue and red on the uh, indicator the right indicator there and we have some red 
in the actual dial right there everything is printed nothing is uh, applied but it looks lovely anyway we're gonna put away the monchard for now and let's go to another part of the world taking a look at the brew retrograph uh, designed in New York City as you might know if you've been watching me for a while New York City is my favorite place in the world such a beautiful beautiful town I've been there a couple of times and this is a watch designed in New York and actually designed with coffee in mind let's take a look at it as you can see we have a lot of information here right on the box which I really like but let's open it up I bought this used I would actually never open a box this way but uh, <laughs> I bought it used and it is what it is uh, it's I'm really glad that this is just the outer box that we have a uh, another box inside there we have there it is looking sleek all black with a little thingy here so you can pull out the watch easily and there we have the box compartment right here we have a cleaning cloth extra spare links then we have the leather that it comes on as you can see brew stamped on that lock uh, navy blue combined with red really matches the watch that it comes on but I'm gonna show it to you on a <coughs> steel bracelet now because that's the way I like to wear it but it comes on this one and I'm gonna show you the watch on this strap in the proper video brew watch company right there and we have the little coffee bean uh, smooth and nice feeling leather there it is what do we have more in the box we have the uh, warranty card here it is brew watch company model type purchase date and then we have uh, a little uh, folder f no it's actually just a piece of uh, two page paper for some functions for the operating the chronograph and such let's put that back in there and there we have the Technicolor Retrograph. I'm just going to put these things out of the way and give you a proper look of the Brew Retrograph. I see that I just have to uh, wipe it down a little. <sighs> there we go. And this is a cool watch. It's uh, I don't know why. Always when I get a square watch in my hands, I automatically think about an Apple Watch and I don't know if that's good or not I don't think it's a good thing at all actually because I'm, I'm not a I get why you would have a smart watch it has a lot of functionality I've uh, myself had smart watches before but it's just not for me but I'm really liking the shape and it really is a square it's just a piece of square uh, as you can see we have no protruding lugs and um, but it looks really cool it gives me a vintage vi vibe I'm really thinking about a, f a fat uh, TV that you used to have back in the days staring back at you in the living room those fat big ass heavyweight TVs that we used to have but I'm really liking the design here you can see we have a bunch of colors here blue and red and really matching that American vibe and the thinking about New York City blue red and white and uh, really nicely done little date wheel at the six o'clock and we have those uh, I'm gonna activate the chronograph right now and there you can see and as you can see it's a hybrid movement it's a mechanical quartz movement giving you a little a little taste of that smooth mechanical moving second hand uh, and yeah it's a really cool watch and I, I know that the thing with these brew watches are that they're somehow made for calculating the perfect time it takes to make an espresso or something like that it's a cool little angle to have on a watch and you can see we have the coffee bean on the on the crown right there yeah it's a it's a original idea at least at least said you can see we have that nicely uh, applied sapphire glass retrograph uh, staring back at you just above the six o'clock and brew nothing more needed on the dial we have a brushed surface on the top and then mixed with a polished surface in the middle uh, giving it a nice little contrast when you look at it it 
gives you that brushed utilitarian look and then it hits you with the polished elegance right there this is a, 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 a steel bracelet a second hand steel bracelet uh, I think it looks good on the watch it's not the best quality of bracelet it's a cheap bracelet but I'm not here to talk about the bracelet I'm just here to talk about the watch but we're gonna open it up anyway pressed clasp as you can see there this is what it looks like on the back brew universal 316 stainless steel sapphire crystal hybrid movement extraction timer yeah looking good specifications on the brew retrograph uh, it's sold out at the moment we have 316 L stainless steel the movement is a hybrid mecha quartz chronograph movement the diameter is 38 millimeters this way and then we have 41.5 this way we have a thickness of 10.4 millimeters so it's actually pretty slim we have a lug width of 22 millimeters and we don't have a lug to lug because the lug to lug would be that 41.5 millimeters we have a sapphire glass and the loom is c3 super luminova i'm not going to be showing you the loom in these unboxing videos but i'm going to show it to you in the proper video we have a 50 meter water resistance and the price for this watch is 375 us dollars and that's approximately 3500 swedish crowns this is what it looks like on my 20 centimeter wrist let's put it on there uh, and as you can see uh, it looks great at least I think it looks great it looks fantastic with that red second hand just staring back at you and the red uh, hands in those sub dials combined with the minty blue uh, hour and minute hand it's a really nice look for a watch I really think they nailed it they hit it out of the park with this one I think it looks great and if it wears great I just have to get it off my mind and stop thinking about a smart watch when I look at it because this is a cool watch in itself we're gonna stop the chronograph reset it there we go instant reset looking great the 10.5 10.4 millimeters thickness is actually f making it feel really comfortable on wrist and paired with this jubilee style bracelet i'm really th i'm thinking it looks fantastic enough with the brew watch it actually actually made me want a cup of coffee coffee but let's put it away for now and take a look at the last watch in today's unboxing the nezumi corbo and we're going straight back to Sweden with this one this is the Nozomi Studios from Stockholm Sweden the Corbo chronograph uh, another nifty little box because it gives you all the information on the back all the specifications are printed right there the show social media tags tag your gear Nozomi gear uh, from Stockholm in Sweden I'm actually gonna uh, they're actually gonna send me uh, another of their watches to feature in a video but this one I bought for myself and uh, it's a nice little packaging looks really cool let's take a look what we have inside that's the watch inside of the upper box we have a little piece of paper with all the information the purchase history and date of purchase and warranty and stuff uh, these are the Corbo watches this one is looking really good with that faded blue bezel and uh, this is the one we're gonna feature today I'm really liking the black one as well but this is sold out uh, a lot of their pieces are sold out but they're getting a, a couple of pieces back in stock now in March the watch comes on this NATO strap as you can see Nazumi printed on the lock and you can actually choose the color of your NATO strap when you're buying the watch but since I'm a bracelet kind of guy I actually bought this on a bracelet and the owner before me a friend of mine he really found a nice little bracelet to put it on even though it doesn't fit perfectly they have their own bracelet but it's actually sold out and it's not coming back because they're releasing a new watch and with the new watch they're actually releasing a new bracelet but until uh, until I get my hands on that bracelet this will have to do 
I'm just gonna put the papers away, the boxes away, and we can take a look at the Nazumi Corbo. Uh, let's just uh, move that little minute hand out of the way so we can see the logo there. We're gonna put it right there and we can activate activate the chronograph there it goes as you can see the Nazumi logo Nazumi Stockholm Sweden Corbo no other text on the watch and it's not needed we have the three sub dials and we have the the crown of this watch is that little three colored sub dial on the left it's a racing inspired chronograph the owner seems to uh, like uh, Porsches, Porsches, uh, old cars and stuff. So this is a ra racing inspired, vintage inspired chronograph looking really good. Uh, and um, yeah, I'm just really liking. It's also a hybrid movement, mechanical quartz, giving you that nice little sweep on the second hand. And as you can see, the entire watch is brushed all over, both on the sides, on that bezel, on the pushers we have the Nazumi logo on the crown and we have easy access drilled lugs so you can easily remove the bracelet or anything you want to remove or put on this watch I can I won't talk a lot about the bracelet because this is not their original bracelet it's a cheap secondhand bracelet as well pressed clasp three fold lock this is a beautiful case back Nazumi creating bonds mecha quartz corbo sapphire crystal this watch looks really good. It's a really well thought through watch. I think they, uh, they've they not skipped on the details on this one. Uh, <coughs> specifications on the Nozumi. We have 3, 316L stainless steel. The movement is a mechanical quartz movement. Diameter 40 millimeters. Thickness 13 millimeters. The lug width is 20 millimeters. The lug to lug is 47 millimeters and we have a molded screw down case back I don't know if uh, a molded case back is something special uh, or unusual I'm gonna have to check that up but they say it's a molded uh, case back on the packaging so I guess they're proud of uh, having a molded case back so I guess it has to be something special we have a water resistance of 50 meters and we have a double domed sapphire crystal with AR coating. As you can see, perfectly legible in every angle. Really liking the tapering on those lugs. It really hugs your wrist perfectly. Let's put it on and see how it looks on my 20 centimeter wrist. There we have it. The Nazumi Corbo chronograph looking good and that green color actually gives it a little military vibe because it's quite a military green but uh, yeah wears perfectly fine and those the tapering on those lugs is really great it's a really versatile watch it's it feels great on my wrist there you have it two Swedish watches and one designed in New York City. I'm really curious to see uh, which one of these watches you think is the coolest. Which one of these three watches would you pick for yourself? I mean, I like, the, I like all of them. They're giving me totally different vibes. This is giving me a really vintage vibe and a little more elegance. Uh, this is giving me a little tougher sportier uh, racing uh, vibe and then the brew is giving me just a really special vibe because it's a really special look on a watch my favorite of these three has to be the brew because it's such a distinct look and I love New York and I like the even though I think it's a, a little stupid with the coffee uh, thing that they have going on oh to measure the perfect uh, cup of espresso but I think it's a cool it's a cool little detail and uh, yeah the pulsations chronograph chronograph is also a cool thing and the racing inspiration on the Nazumi but if I had to choose just one of them 
it would have to be the brew. But what do you think? Which one of these three watches would you actually uh, like to have for yourself? Or if you uh, were given one of them for free, which one would you choose? That's everything for today's little unboxing, my friends. I tried to do it as quick as possible and still give you all the information that you need uh, on, the, on these three watches. I hope you liked it. And as usual, if you liked the video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing. But if you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down. Tell me what you didn't like. And I promise you, I'll try to do better until the next video. But until I see you again, my friends, I hope you have a wonderful afternoon and evening. And I hope you have a wonderful coming week. It's Monday tomorrow and we have a whole full week ahead of us. And I hope you enjoy it as I will try to do. Until I see you again, bye bye.